Good morning. Thank you for coming out this morning. My name is Matthew Kaiser. I'm the Communications Director with the City of Fairfax. And we invited you to the station today to hear an update on the investigation into the June 24 murder of city resident Mr. Gret Glyer. I'm joined by Captain Jeff Hunt, the officer who has been leading the investigation. Captain Hunt will read a statement and take questions afterward. We're very early in this investigation, so please know you may be unable to provide answers to every question that you have. With that, Captain Hunt. Good morning. I'm Captain Jeff Hunt with the City of Fairfax Police Department. I'm also the commander of the Criminal Investigations Division. On June 24th at 2.58 a.m., patrol officers from our department responded to 9804 Bolton Village Court in reference to a 911 call made from the residence. The caller stated that a person in the residence had been shot. Within minutes, officers arrived at the scene and rushed into the residence to find Mr. Gret Glyer deceased in a bedroom. Officers were able to get Mr. Glyer's wife and children safely out of the house as they continued to look for the suspect. Fire and rescue arrived on scene and confirmed that Mr. Glyer was deceased. The scene was secured and detectives from our department responded immediately to begin their investigation. During the course of our investigation, it was revealed that multiple rounds were fired at Mr. Glyer while he was asleep in bed. The investigation also revealed that Mr. Glyer's wife was asleep at the time of the shooting and was lying in bed next to him. Mr. Glyer's body was eventually transported to the medical examiner's office. Detectives from the Criminal Investigations Division have worked tirelessly over the last four days combing through evidence, conducting interviews, and canvassing the neighborhood for any clues that could point us in the right direction. As a result, a suspect was developed and probable cause was established. After consulting with the Fairfax County Commonwealth Attorney's Office, search warrants for the suspect's home, vehicle, and person were obtained. Additionally, arrest warrants for second degree murder and use of a firearm in the commission of a felony were obtained for the arrest of Joshua Daniel Danehauer, and I'll spell that last name for you, D-A-N-E-H-O-W-E-R. He is a 33-year-old male who resides in Arlington, Virginia. Due to the fact that Mr. Danehauer's residence is in Arlington County, we reached out to the Arlington County Police Department yesterday for assistance. They immediately began looking for Mr. Danehauer and were able to follow his vehicle to Dulles Airport. Officers from the Arlington County Police Department kept eyes on Mr. Danehauer until police officers from the Metropolitan Washington Airports Authority were able to take Mr. Danehauer into custody without incident. He is currently being held in the Fairfax County Adult Detention Center without bond. Mr. Danehauer worked at Dulles Airport and was headed to work at the time he was apprehended. Last night, with the assistance of the Arlington County Police Department, a search warrant was executed at Mr. Danehauer's residence after he was taken into custody at Dulles Airport. Our investigation revealed that Mr. Danehauer was an acquaintance of the family. At this time, we have no reason to believe that Mr. Danehauer was colluding with anyone, and it appears that he acted alone in the murder of Mr. Glier. We are confident that there are no known threats to our community at this time. We would like to extend our condolences to Mr. Glier's wife, his children, and his family during this very tragic period. We would also ask that you respect their privacy while they go through this very difficult time. We would like to thank everyone who came forward in this case to provide us with information. This case was a great example of what a police department and the community can do when they work together. We would also like to thank the City of Fairfax Fire Marshal's Office, George Mason University Police Department, Fairfax County Police Department, 
Arlington County Police Department, Metropolitan Washington Airport Authority Police Department, the Virginia State Police, the Virginia Department of Forensic Science, and the Fairfax County Commonwealth Attorney's Office, who all assisted us in this investigation. At this time, I will take a few questions, but please understand that I will not be any answering any questions about any evidence we have obtained, nor will we comment on anything that will that would jeopardize the judicial process. How were you able to connect the two? So we had, uh, we, we conducted interviews and someone came forward and told us that we should look to Mr. Dane Howard as a possible suspect in this case. And that's all I can comment on. Is it financial related? I can't comment on any of that. What can you say about motive at this time? We're still looking into that. We're very early into this investigation, so there's still a lot of things we're looking into, and that will take some time. Can you talk about the relationship that the suspect had with the family? I, the only thing I can say at this time that we know that it, he was an acquaintance, and other than that, we, we don't have any further comment. We should, we're still looking into all possibilities. Can you say what his response or reaction was to his arrest? Uh, I was able to watch his arrest um, on the video last night. Um, Everything went very smoothly. The airport police um, took, took uh, custody of him very tactfully, and he cooperated with the police department um, throughout that arrest. Did he say anything? I don't, have any, I don't have any information on that yet. Does he work at FedEx? He does. That, and the question was, does he work at FedEx at the, at the airport? Yes. We understand he was asleep or may have been lying down in the back of the car when he was arrested. Why is that? It appears that he might have just been sitting in his vehicle waiting for his time to go into work and was resting possibly. We don't know that yet. So my understanding is there's a connection though with this church, that there's some kind of a church connection here. What can you tell us about that? The question was, is there some kind of connection with the church? We're still looking into all those possibilities at this time and we don't have any further comments on that. So with that, those are the, uh, the questions that we're really prepared to answer at this point. As I mentioned, we're far very early in this investigation. And we don't want to jeopardize that one bit at all. So please direct all further questions to the Fairfax County Commonwealth Attorney Office. Uh, they will be handling the investigation from this point. Thank you guys for coming out. We really appreciate it. Can we just ask one more, the, the way that this homicide happened, you said that the husband and wife were in their bed sleeping. What are your thoughts and reactions to the way that this occurred? We're still looking into uh, all possibilities as to why this occurred. Thank you.